Hi there folks, it's going to be a short little lesson on Hound Dog, um, or my arrangement of it anyway. And um, what I'm going to get you doing on this one is taking a real classic kind of blues or rock and roll rhythm pattern and putting that through the chords in Hound Dog. Um, so there's only three chords in this really, there's C, F and G7. And actually we're not going to tamper with the G7, you can mess around with G chords. But to start with, introducing you to this pattern, we're just going to try it out with a C and F, okay? So we're doing this. Okay, this is that classic kind of bluesy rock and roll rhythm pattern. Might sound familiar. And to make this work, I'm doing constant down and up strokes, but they're not straight, they're swung, okay? They've got a swing feel to them. So rather than one and swing is one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Okay, instead of straight swing. Okay, now some of you might have a harder time than others getting that swing feel to work. Some of you might jump straight into that and be happy with it. Um, so regardless, take some time getting used to On top of that, what we're going to do to make this come to life is use our index finger to drop in and out to the second fret on the G string, and it's going to come in on beats two and four, and it just drops in and then goes straight back out again. So you do one and two and three and four, and okay. So the fingers up, it's down, and then it's straight back out again. So that'll take a degree of finger independence to get that one moving in and out whilst this ring finger stays put. So go through that pattern slowly, make sure you can do that. See if you can get it so you can play those first four bars of Hound Dog. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, see if you can get it there without having to think about it too much. So it starts to feel natural. Then what happens then is we go over to F and we try and mimic that pattern on the F chord. Obviously, fingers have changed now that we're in F. So now the finger that does the moving in and out is the third finger. And that's going to go in and out of the second fret on the C string. Okay, still straight down and up, still the swing feel. Finger still drops in on two and four. Okay, when that drops in, you might recognize that shape as D minor. Here in this context, it's not D minor, it's F6, but don't worry too much about the algebra of it, okay? Just know that when you're doing an F, doing that sounds good. Sounds like rock and roll or blues. Then you go back to C. there okay so try that with me up to there then let's go slowly let's do a one two three four C thirds there at that point. For the last line of this, you're going to go to G7. And for that, to start with, I think just play straight through it, okay? So just one, two, three, four, F, two, three, four. And then bring back the pattern on the C for the last two bars. Okay, now that's a whole verse's worth. And that would actually do, you could play the whole song like that if you want to. Um, but I've thrown in an extra part for you to try out as well if you want. Um, and that's to try and lock in with that snare drum 
that you hear on the record, okay? You hear the drummer go into that fast triplet feel. Okay, that's just my thighs. That's not a drum kit I've got hidden off camera. Um, so we're gonna try that out and it would fall on a C chord and it's, it's quite fast. Okay, you end up with three notes on every beat. bar. Okay, so to get that, you really have to keep that wrist loose. Okay, I think if you're strumming with your thumb, you're probably going to have a hard time with that. It's going to be best and easiest, I think, with an index finger um, or with a plectrum. But um, do what you can if you're strumming with your thumb. So it's really just straight down and up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you want to stick to that, okay? You want to stick to that so you end up falling on a downstroke when you get to the next bar. So here's that whole kind of second verse or second chorus is worth. We do a one. triplets before um, maybe it's worth kind of getting metronome out and getting used to that one two three two two three three two three four two three getting used to that feel some people find it helps to say tripola 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 or elephant 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 okay whatever three syllable words you want to use to get you through that um, counting wise people tend to count the beat still and then you count the denomination to the triplets after. So you do one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And keep that wrist loose, okay? And try and fit them all evenly in across that bar. And really that's it, okay? So have some fun taking that rhythm pattern through Hound Dog. It's a really nice one. You'll find a home for that in a bunch of other songs, I'm sure. So, Take care and happy strumming.